Skype video. A private reel on Led Zeppelin's Robert Plant. Pivot reel tonight is on Robert Plant, lead singer in Led Zeppelin and now solo artist. We joined Robert in New York as he prepared to embark on his first solo tour of the United States. We talked about his career and his new willingness to deal with the media. I've been very fortunate. I have a kind of reputation which allows me to please myself whether I want to talk to the media or be a part of the whole circus or not. Uh, I don't think I ever tried either to make myself a public figure or to avoid the publicity. I think um, my philosophy for what it's worth, and I'm not particularly wise or versed character, <clears throat> is that my true worth to anybody at all, or to my, even to myself, as far as anybody knowing who I am or where I am or what I do, is really only relevant when I'm on stage singing. Oh, baby, baby, baby. People have often said that my voice <laughs> sounds or has been made to mimic instruments and to sympathize with instruments, and in fact extend the art of, of singing on that level. I found personally that I had to do that because there were so many instrumental sections with Led Zeppelin that I might easily have uh, taken a break and had a can of Mountain Dew while some of the solos were going on. So I guess to remain part of the band, I used to extend the vocal thing as much as I could. I started playing R&B and singing R&B in clubs and bars and stuff, which most English people did who were in their mid-twenties like me. And, um, and then it was only a matter of time before I was a member of different blues bands and stuff, or playing the, R the American black R&B. You know you shook me. All of a sudden I teamed up with Jimmy and Jonesy and Bonzo and just kept playing the sort of stuff that had always influenced me, came over to America and found that it was like uh, bringing coals to Newcastle really as we say. It was like taking the, the goods and taking them back again. My involvement in the Camp of Cheer concerts uh, was completely uh, out of the blue really. I just went along to see the show. I had a chat with Dave Edmonds and was seduced into singing Little Sister. It was also funny to come off stage and Elvis Costello turned to me and he said, I never ever thought I'd hear Dave Edmonds do Stairway to Heaven, which was quite funny. I was going to say there was a conscious sort of uh, pattern of thought to incorporate video as you actually write the song, but it would be sacrilegious to do that because the song is all powerful, whereas the video is a delicacy. If I were to think back to all the antics and the sort of good times that I've had and all the experiences that I've gone through and try and compare myself in 1968 when I first came to the States to now, 1983, I would say that right now I'm probably a, a lot calmer and a lot easier going, uh, a little more studious but equally as eager to make my point. <laughs> 